we want to determine whether each of the following compounds is soluble in hexane. Now if you recall when we're talking about solubility and solutions, we want to remember the phrase like dissolves like. So for each of these I need to figure out what kind of intermolecular forces are present and then that's going to help me to determine which one or ones is going to be soluble in hexane. So let's start with hexane. What kind of forces does it have? Well, it does not have hydrogen bonding, right, because there's no O, F, or N. It does not have, it's not polar, so it can't be dipole, dipole. So the thing we have left is dispersion. So that means that whatever we need to find is going to have to have dispersion as its type of force. So let's go through these and see what kind of bonding does each one have. Well, we have water, and we know that water has that H bonded to O bonded to H, so we automatically know there's an H bonded to an O, so this is hydrogen bonding. Now if we look at propane, it's just C bonded to H. So what kind of forces do we have? We have dispersion. Now what about ammonia? Well, it's N bonded to three hydrogens, but we know that if there's an N bonded to an H, that again is hydrogen bonding. Now I've got hydrogen chloride. Well, that's H bonded to Cl. I know that Cl is electronegative, it, negativity is high because it's very close to fluorine. So this one has dipole, dipole. Well, if I've got these each one now written out, I can easily see which ones look the same, right? I know that I needed dispersion. The only one I see with dispersion is B. So the answer is going to be B.